Hey guys, this is Mark Piller. In this video, I wanted to give you an overview of a new feature we added in Backendless, which we call developer permissions. This feature becomes particularly useful when you have uh, two or more developers in your development team. Uh, in Backendless console, whenever you navigate to manage and then select team, this is the section that allows you to manage your development team. And as you can see in this particular app that is called console demo, there is only one developer and that is me. So when I invite an additional developer, which is very easy to do, you use the invite a team member button. You just type in the email address of the developer you want to invite. In this case, I'm going to be inviting myself using my Gmail account. So the invitation uh, is sent. You get a little pop up here that tells you that has that has been done. And now uh, I can see that this particular developer is also invited. So a couple of things that you will notice that are different here. First of all, we introduced the concept of the app owner. And the app owner is the developer that uh, has originally created the app. But with developer permissions, the important thing is that you now can manage a complete set of all the permissions of everything that the invited developer can or cannot do. And this can be done using the manage link right here for the invited developer. When you click that link, you get a, a pop-up with uh, all the permissions that you can assign to that developer. And notice that by default, when you invite someone, they get the read-only account. They can see the data, but they cannot make any changes to either configuration or the actual data for your application. Uh, not only that, but uh, making any kind of changes uh, to how the application work, works is also disabled. And there are a lot of things that you can control and grant permissions for the invited developers uh, using this interface. So we have broken it down into various sections uh, of the functionality that exists in Backendless. And as you can see, it starts with just the general level application access security. Then you get the application settings, which is the screen for app settings. And uh, all the uh, functions that you find in the app settings are represented with, with these check boxes here. Then there is log management, billing, ability to import, export. Uh, so as you can see, every single thing that you will find in the backend list is now available uh, for access control with these permissions. If you, uh, if someone needs to work with a database, uh, which is going to be right here on the data service, these are all the things that you can assign that they would be able to do, such as creating tables, modifying your schema, uh, setting up uh, the relationships. Uh, security and so on. So same thing goes for the file service. So these are all the individual things that uh, can be done in console and you can grant specific things that they would be able to do in console. Uh, and it goes on for messaging and push notifications, for geolocation, for business logic, uh, as you can see for absolutely everything. And the, the developer experience is going to be like this. So I'm going to close this and uh, I will bring another um, browser in here. So this is the, uh, the browser of the invited developer uh, right here. As you can see, this is the developer that was invited. And uh, I, I now have access to this, the same console demo. If I go to the same sections uh, for the team, you see that it shows me as read only. If I try to modify my own permissions and then uh, save it, I'm going to get an error that I cannot modify permissions because uh, I have a read-only account. Likewise, if I go and uh, try to do anything in this application, for example, regenerating uh, an API key. So I, I click on this and uh, I get an error that I don't have the permission to regenerate API keys. If I go to the database and try to create a, uh, a new table, I just call it my table, I get an error saying that I don't have the permission to uh, create tables. Now, if I were to go back to my account, such as the owner, and then were to modify the permissions for that invited developer and say that that, that invited developer can, uh, for example, create tables uh, or rename, delete tables, and then create columns and save this, then automatically, by the way, you can see that it shows that that person has mixed permissions. So now in here, if I, uh, now I returned it as that invited developer, and let's say I want to create a new table. So the table is created and I can start modifying the schema and adding the columns. Okay, so that works, but everything else that is not allowed 
the backendless would reject and not allow that developer to, to do this. So this functionality is available uh, in your apps today. It is also part of uh, Managed Backendless and Backendless Pro. Uh, the full-blown support for all the developer permissions comes in the Cloud 9 and the Cloud 99 plan. Uh, it is a limited support in the developer plan and it is not available in the free plan. So uh, clearly this will be uh, beneficial to those that have uh, more uh, complex applications with development teams. But the functionality is there and uh, you're welcome to start using it. Uh, there's also some uh, uh, improvements here such as being able to remove yourself from the team and uh, since I'm the owner here I cannot remove myself but uh, as uh, as an invited developer you can remove yourself from the team and uh, the, previously that was not uh, possible uh, in Backendless. So it, it, extremely uh, powerful set of functionality we have received multiple requests from you uh, asking for it and now it is available starting with uh, with the current version which is uh, version 5.6. If you have any questions, of course, if you have any ideas for improvements as to how to make it better uh, or need help with uh, configuring your permissions, please use our support form or the Slack channel. Thank you, and as always, happy coding.